Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, and now the Powder Toy is sporting an element that I don't have. That's right, neurons. <laughs> uh, Dr. Spike back in the house to create Frankenstein monsters. Look at it, it's a beautiful brain, uh, dying because it's connected to literally nothing that can feed it. So sad. We should throw it in a jar. Mmm, brain in a jar. You know what, let's make a brain in a jar. That seems like a fantastic idea to show off this, uh, concept. Uh, let's make a jar. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some glass, I guess. Uh, glass? Glass. There, there. What, what, what looks like a jar? There, there, that's a nice... Brilliant. We'll even put, like, uh... Oh, very nice. I am a professional artist who makes all the things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. It's a good-looking jar. Let's fill it with blood. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no, we have to put the brain in first. Okay, let's put a brain in here. Well, uh, I'll be a little bit artistic about this. Very nice. <laughs> And then, uh, let's go ahead and just get some, uh, blood. Fill- fill it up. Very good. Uh, we don't have liquid equalization on, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and just fill this in. The brain is dying, so let's go ahead and get the blood all happy. Uh, let's go and get the prop tool. And we're gonna set the O2 of the blood to, like, a hundred. Can I just- Oh, I can- Holy guacamole, I can. Okay, and then, uh, we're gonna set the, uh, CO2 to negative 100. And that should, uh, give us a good, good, good start. Right? Right? Is... Yeah? Yeah! Okay, the brain is, the brain is coming back to life. Very good. Very nice. It took a little bit of damage from being, like, outside of of a creature for a bit, but as you can see, the beautiful happy brain is doing beautiful happy brain things. Now, you may be saying, Spike, what is what is so special about a brain? Well, let me show you. If we go ahead and get a titanium rod and just jab it into the spinal column, uh, which I do not suggest you doing this to yourself, jabbing things into your spinal column is generally unhealthy, uh, we can just go ahead and get a signal out of it. Oh, look at that. Neurons emit randomized signals depending on their, uh, health. If the health of the neuron gets low, it'll emit less electricity, meaning that you could actually make a system that can detect when the brain is about to die and then, uh, act accordingly. That's- that's right. You can now create smart, smart creatures. Let's go ahead and drain the blood from this jar to give you an example of what would happen. So, uh, the amount of material available to this brain should be dropping rather rapidly as the O2 is converted to CO2 and the brain becomes sad. Very sad brain. Just like this one right here. <laughs> it's okay, I'm doing fine actually. I'm quite happy. Alright. Um, as the brain continues to brain, uh, we will see that the oxygen is beginning to drop. It actually uses more oxygen than other cell types, and it has lower health. It's a bit more temperamental, just like humans. Um, and then as that number is about to hit zero on the oxygen, things are about to get a little bit funky. And by funky, I mean cell death and, uh, the collapse of the mind. Which is more scary and terrifying than funky, but... There we go, we're just going to extend this line here out so that we can really see the decrease in signal that happens over time. There we go. We're gonna, there we go. Now we can really keep track of it. We can see the past like 10 seconds of signals going by. So as the brain is, well, literally just dying, the amount of signals that come out of it has reduced. Would, would you look at that? We have big gaps in the signal. It's not nearly as consistent. It's kind of a mess. Um, it's, it's catching on fire because of the dead tissue. Wow, the brain just burst into flames. 
off of its own electrical output and uh as you can see down here there's quite a bit of signal but up here there's like no signal and and it's dead it burst into flame so realistic that's what happens to me all the time um so now that you know how this works let's put it into an actual creature and uh it'll it'll have a good time hopefully all right, let's go ahead and grab my skin is here because this is like my go-to. And uh, let's make it nice and healthy by pumping oxygen into it. Hello. Oxygen! Oh. Um. Oh no, I didn't want to do negative 100. Oops. Well that, that's not good. That was quite bad. <laughs> All right, brilliant. Uh, now we just find somewhere that has a lot of good, healthy, oxygen rich blood probably the bottom here where it's all pooling and then uh we're going to go ahead and add a brain we're not going to do a massive brain we're going to do a pretty medium sized brain we'll just go ahead and get some meat and just boop, create a casing for the brain and then we'll just get the brain material uh we'll get the brain material oh no it's neuron not brain the brain material, put it in, um, maybe we'll even surround it with skin for safety reasons. And then, maybe we'll even make an artery through the brain, why not? I'll make an artery. Now you guys were saying, ah, the blood vessels aren't very useful, but watch this. This is actually exactly what the blood vessel is useful for, uh, because if we have something like the brain here, that's going downwards. We can have this artery going through the brain, and then at the bottom of this, we can have blood vessel to pick it up and pump that blood back into the system. This is really where blood vessel shines, returning. Is it great for an artery? No, because it's quite inefficient. Um, it's slow. Wait, why? Oh, it that is blood. Okay. Okay, I got really confused for a moment. Okay, and then that's the meat. And we just open this up to allow that to go there. And boom! Now we're going to start pulling blood through the brain which is turning very blue, so hopefully it gets go. There it goes. Great, so this uh, blood is beautifully being pumped through the brain now, and uh, hopefully it is able to catch up with the amount of oxygen. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a boost of oxygen just to give it a fair chance at survival. Whee! Uh, and let's also set its CO2 to something negative, like negative 50. This will give this a fair chance at not dying. Alright. So, look, it's actually growing skin around it. Brilliant. It has a very nice, nice brain. Good, good brain vibes. There's literally no oxygen getting to the meat. Oh, oh there it goes, there it goes. I was gonna say, uh, I don't- I don't want this to die. Oh shoot, it's clogged! The skin, I forgot the skin! Oh, I'm so dumb. The skin clogged the end, so nothing was traveling through the blood vessel. Okay, that was bad. Alright, that should help. Ooh, that was almost really bad. I made a wee mistake. <laughs> And by a wee mistake, I mean a really, really awful mistake that could have killed the entire- Okay, the entire thing is actually on the verge of dying. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that prop tool and give them some- Not a ton, but just enough O2 to survive. And enough not CO2 to survive. Kids, mistakes- Did, did something die? Yeah, we have, we have like one dead tissue right here. How sad. Okay, but it should, it's healing now. It's healing. Uh, my mistake has been fixed. 
So the gravity assisted artery here feeding the brain is working pretty well and then the blood vessel is doing its job to pick up the blood that falls and bring it back into the main system and it's working. The brain does use a lot of oxygen and it generates a lot of CO2 so you can see that the uh, blood coming through here is getting taxed uh, kind of to its maximum abilities. Uh, which may spell disaster for this. I haven't actually really thought about the, uh... Yeah, this blood vessel may not survive because the brain is just using so much material. Hmm. Looks like there's a dead tissue in the lung area as well. I don't- I have no clue where that came from. Okay, this creature is having some O, oh, and now we're having we're having a leak blood loss. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to ignore it. Let's go ahead and uh, do some surgery to see if we can get a signal out of the brain. Now you may be saying, why surgery? Shouldn't this be simple? Well, skin is slightly flammable, and passing electricity through it is kind of dangerous. So instead, we're going to pass it through an insulated tube, like so, so that we don't accidentally catch the skin on fire. But now that we have an insulated tube that we can just pop a thing out of, we should get some brain signals. There we go. There we go. We're getting a signal. Happy brain. Happy brain. Just ignore the fact that the entire freaking thing is falling apart at this point. Um, it's okay. It's fine. I'm sure the blood loss is not going to cause any issues whatsoever. Wow. This is a disaster. I mean, the brain isn't dead. That's all that matters, right? It's still conscious. As long as it's conscious, we're happy. My, my creation is alive, damn it. It's alive! Alright, let's kill it. Let's, let's just do something that would absolutely fr- Oh, we could put a tumor in. That would be rather dramatic. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's drop a tumor. It's like on the skin over there. And then uh, let's see what happens. Because this, this should definitely kill kill the creature. We'll, we'll keep an eye on the brain wave. I bet I can't make, like, a brainwave, uh, machine thing. I probably could. So that looks kind of cool. Oh. Here, I'll make it look like a brain chart. Uh, <laughs> Great. Even though it's not actually being drawn. That's not even- that. that's a heart graph. What am I talking about? This is literally a heart graph. It's not for a brain. Whatever, it's fine. It looks medical or something, so it's okay. <laughs> we're, we're now we're now measuring. Yeah, yeah. This this makes no sense whatsoever. We'll we'll, we'll make it brain wavy. Brain waves. <laughs> brain waves. That that one kind of looks like a wave you would surf on. <laughs> Becoming triangles. Beautiful, I'm, I'm so talented. So talented. So, uh, the tumor has actually clogged up the main artery of the, uh, thing. I accidentally drew insulation over here at some point. I, I don't know when that happened. Whoops. There, I fixed it. Oh my god, tumor went into the brain! That was really unlucky. There were a ton of ways this could have ended, but that is not the one I expected. Um, I mean, damn. Oh no! Oh no! No! We can see its last cries for help. Is that it? Is that the last spark? We need to preserve it. We need to preserve the last signal sent by the creature. Ugh. Ah. Ah. It's not dead until we let the signal go. I'm running out of space to bring the signal. Uh-oh. Okay, we can bring it around here. Through here. 
It's okay, guys. I'm prolonging its consciousness. Oh, it started a fire. That's exciting. We're, we're currently ahead of the game. It's, it's not going to catch up anytime soon. Okay, it may actually catch up. I'm not going quite as quickly anymore. Oh no, it's coming, it's coming around. Oh god. This is what doctors actually do when someone's about to die. They capture their consciousness and try to build, build a really long wire to keep it alive on while they're resuscitating you. This is scientifically accurate. The last three thoughts are just making their way through. Guys, I think we're trapped. I don't have anywhere to bring it now without short circuiting it. Ah, we're stuck. Nope, that's it. It's the end of the line. That's it. That is the end. Troll. <laughs> what a troll moment. I just, I just duplicated it. Oh damn, and now it's an infinite loop. An infinite loop. Crazy. Oh, this this is what remains of our creature. It's very sad. The tumor has kind of eaten eaten the entire damn thing. It's uh It does have a crazy amount of health though, because tumor does not respect the normal bounds. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Update uh files will exist eventually. I'm not quite ready for a release, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe next time. I, I'm going to add some more exciting stuff, so peace out. Wow. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know down below what you want to see in the mod next. Or what game you want to see next. Or maybe just tell me how awesome I am to inflate my ego. Yeah. Thank you all. I will see you all next time. End credits, gang. Peace out.